Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome to episode number two of The Capital Map. Today we're in some of my favorite seaside communities in Saanich, in Cordova Bay, and Broadmead. It kind of made sense to bring these two communities into one video because the two neighborhoods flow seamlessly into one another. If there's a neighborhood that you want to see featured in The Capital Map, make sure to leave a comment below with what you want to see. So where are Cordova Bay and Broadmead? Well, we're in Saanich, which is the most populous municipality in Victoria. And realistically, these two neighborhoods are in between the Patricia Bay Highway, which is the main arterial that runs north and south and connects our downtown core to the Saanich Peninsula. And behind me, the Harrow Strait and Mount Douglas. So some amazing natural wonders and amazing access here in Cordova Bay and Broadmead. Both of these two communities are dominated by large, single-family detached homes, treed lots, and privacy, but there is density in certain pockets. In 2021, the average sale price of a detached home in Cordova Bay and Broadmead was just over $1.6 million. Townhomes come in just over a million dollars, and condos just below that at $992,000. The pros. Number one is there's a ton of different lifestyle options. Whether you're a retiree looking for peace and tranquility or a young family looking for great schools and places to get outside, Cordova Bay and Broadmead are a great place to live. Number two, the great outdoors. Look at where we are. We're on the Pacific Ocean. We have some of the most amazing coastal rainforests in the world here. It's an amazing place just to get outside and breathe. You can golf, you can run, you can go up and down the Lockside Trail. It's all here. And number three, the access. Whether you're trying to get out of Victoria and get to the airport or the ferries, or get into Victoria and drive to downtown, you're right in the middle here and really close to the highways to get in and out. The cons. Unless you live within a block of Maddox Farm or Broadmead Village, this is a drive only type neighborhood and there aren't a ton of amenities within walking distance to most pockets of these two communities. Con number two. There are a lot of really tall fir and pine trees in Broadmead and Cordova Bay. And a lot of the time in the winter, especially, it can feel a little bit dark and you'll be spending a lot of time cleaning up pine needles on your roof. The hidden gems that only the locals know about, starting with this spot right here, we're at Maddox Farm, which a lot of us drive by all the time. But unless you really get in here, you don't take note of all the amazing artisan shops, great places to eat like Adrian's, and some amazing places just to spend an afternoon. Hidden gem number two, Parker Park, or what I call Parker Beach, it's really an extension of Cordova Bay Beach, just a little bit further north, and the access is a lot more private off of Parker Ave. So you're gonna have a lot less people that are visiting Cordova Bay, and more people that are actual locals down here enjoying the ocean scenery. If you're looking for space, privacy, miles of sandy beach along the Pacific Ocean, and beautiful tree lots, Cordova Bay and Broadmead could be the place for you. If you haven't seen my other videos in this series, make sure you check out episode one right here. And when the next episode goes live, I'll make sure to give the link right here. We'll see you next time on the Capital Map.